My name is Ricky, but a lot of you know me as Riddle, and I've been cosplaying for a really long time. And because I've been cosplaying for so long, I've gotten so many great opportunities. A few of my biggest accomplishments are I've been on uh, the cover of some cosplay magazines, one in Europe and one in the US. I have a pattern released by Simplicity. I've been on a reality show on the Sci-Fi Network about cosplay. I've gotten to travel all over the world to attend conventions as a guest, getting to meet the geek community worldwide. And my biggest accomplishment is starting a charity with all my closest cosplay friends. And we've raised over $60,000 for various causes. Now, after you've slaved away over making a costume, one of the greatest experiences you can have is going to a con and showing off your hard work. And my favorite con to do that at is Dragon Con, which is hosted in Atlanta. I call it Nerdy Bra. But DragonCon is the best place to show off your hard work, and we're gonna check out a few clips from DragonCon 2017. Hey guys, this is Connected Cosplay, and you are here with Karen Yanyas today. And we are here in the DragonCon parade. It is now about 9.30, and we are waiting 30 more minutes until everybody gets ready for the parade. My name is Maya Garner. I'm here um, from here in Atlanta. I'm Andrew Hill. I'm from uh, Roswell. Um, this cosplay is Diana Prince Rogers Nelson. So it is a mashup between Wonder Woman and Prince Rogers Nelson, the singer. Jon Snow is probably my favorite character from uh, Game of Thrones. So uh, I chose to be him. I kind of, I think I kind of resemble him. I try to be characters that I kind of look like and where I don't have to do a lot of work where like shaving or <laughs> anything like that. So. Hey guys, we're back with me, and uh, I just finished the parade a couple minutes ago, and it was amazing. There were so many people; it was so hype. Like it's it's awesome. And now we're just meeting up with these awesome cosplayers. I'm Meryl, and I'm from the Boston area. Uh, this is my mother, Beverly Hoffman, and um, she is playing Lady Olena from the Game of Thrones. I, I am San from Princess Mononoke. I am Young Genji from Overwatch. And I am May from Overwatch. I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> I am it. I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. And soon you will all float. <laughs> that was too. great. Oh, God, no, please. <laughs> um, I'm Brienne, who's in service, of course, to Lady Olena. And, um, and of course, this year, um, I don't want to spoil it for everybody who hasn't seen season seven, but um, yeah, they kind of dealt a blow for, for Lady Olena, but she got them back because she's the Queen of Thorns. And, uh, and so she let Cersei know that it was her who did the deed, and Cersei's just going to have to deal with it. How did you guys make this costume? Uh, all by hand, piece by piece. This is all hard central plastic, uh, custom molded ABS helmets, and uh, just one piece at a time. It looks really clean, guys. It's it's Thank amazing. It. Yeah. Like two and a half years worth of work. It is a combination of regular foam, warbler, black warbler, and the horns are made out of um, XPS foam from Home Depot. Uh, this is the carbon skin. Um, it's one of my favorite ones, so that's why I went with this color. I just really like the blue, the black, like the little details that they put into it, and the fact that the symbol is a kanji. But my first question, why didn't you do Overwatch with him? We're doing it tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow's and the Overwatch meetup. He has an Archangel one, but he's in the competition today, and he wanted to put Junkrat in, so we're like, well, we're still going to do our X-Men day, you know, so the family that cosplays together stays together, but we're not always in sync. Okay. <laughs> Okay, understandable. And your junk red is so good. Like, it's so good. Did you make this yourself? Um, the thing that I made, I've, I've, I made the patches, I made uh, the bombs, I mod podge uh, the gauntlet, I mod podge pretty much everything. Um, but the foam craft, he's the foam crafter and I'm the painter. She paints, I so mod podge. we're like a shop. We're like a, we're a, we're a cosplay machine. What are you guys from? 
I am uh, from the brain that wouldn't die. From Manos, the hands of fate. Okay, so um, what, what's the story behind this? Um, this is, well, it's a classic B movie, and Mystery Science Theater 3000 did it. And quite frankly, I, I get tired after the parade, so I wanted to sit. And so I think, my name is Janet, and I thought, well, Jan in the pan works really well, so. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Um, so, uh, what makes you choose this costume? Oh, uh, we're huge Mystery Science Theater 3000 fans, so this is like, this, I mean, we're married because of MST. <laughs> Oh, yes, we are, yeah. How long have you guys uh, attended Dragon Con? Where? Five. How? Five years. Five years. How do you like Dragon Con so far? What's not to love about Dragon Con? You know, come on. Every, everything, the people, the fans, everybody is a fan of everybody, and it's five fans, and it's four fans, and it's just, I wouldn't go anywhere else. I do. I love it, and I love everybody who comes around and tells me they love me. <laughs> wow, how great that is.